Okay, so uh, welcome, hi there, welcome to our video on installing WordPress using Crazy Domains. So um, first thing I'll get you to do is actually when you arrive on Crazy Domains is to log in to your hosting account and you'll see this screen here which is your control panel for your hosting. As you can see it's a, got a few email accounts and databases. I've actually already got WordPress installed on this particular account but I've set up a subdomain here. As you can see there is nothing there at the moment. Um, that allows me to install a second copy of WordPress. So just before I do get started, uh, there is one very quick way to go about this. We can go straight here to install WordPress, which actually uh, sort of skips a few steps for us and makes it a bit quicker. But uh, just for the sake of being making this guide more complete, we'll show you exactly how to how to do it. So we go to Apps and Services, Installer Tron Applications Installer, Applications Browser. Click on that up there. As you can see, we've got a whole range of programs we can install. For now, we're looking for WordPress. So after you go through the community building, you'll see apps for content management. The first icon there is WordPress. So we're going to click on that. As you can see, we've got a nice little page here with a bit of information. Uh, we're just now going to click install this application. Now you can see we've got a choice of which domain we want to use. So I'm going to go to my test domain. Uh, if you want to install it, uh, say like to your domain name slash blog, you can do that. But for the sake of this video, we would rather install WordPress as the entirety of our website. So we're just going to leave that blank. So when we go straight to test.activebody.com, it'll actually come up with the uh, WordPress site. So we want to use that version, 3.71 or whatever the recommended version is. Want it to be in English? We do accept the license agreement, otherwise we cannot install it. Um, there are some options here. Uh, you can choose for it to automatically update. Uh, this is not a not a bad way to go. To create a, a backup and update to minor versions of security releases. That way, it sort of saves you a bit of time in the future. Uh, just a few other options. I tend to not sort of automatically update themes. I prefer to actually back up and do one big one big update the one time so we'll leave that for now you can set an administrator username now try not to use admin because it's a bit of a, a hacker hackers are going to be able to guess that name quite easily if they ever want to hack your site so we'll just say we'll call this username user id 01 just for something different administrator password we'll say now obviously you want this to be a difficult password for people to guess but for the video we'll make it really simple so we're going to call it password one administrator email we'll send it through to this email address here blog title my blog that's fine just another wordpress site uh if you plan on multi-site something you probably want to do a bit of research on before considering it so for now we're going to click no this is a great little feature for limiting login attempts another security feature which uh, stops people from simply sitting there and trying to guess your username, password, that sort of thing. It'll actually lock them out after a little while for a certain period of time. Um, so yeah, we're going to go straight to install. As you can see, we've loaded up here. My other WordPress site is sitting here, but a new one is actually installing right now. So we'll just wait for that to finish up. As you can see, it is now complete. So if I head over to my uh, test site here, I can refresh. As you can see, we now have a WordPress blog. So that's pretty straightforward. Um, as you can see, if you want to log in, you can go to your website slash wp-login.php. You can log in using the password, uh, username password that you set before. And you can start editing your website. So um, yeah, you're all ready to get started. So uh, that's basically it. It takes less than five minutes to do. Uh, yeah, and you can have your website up and running and get stuck into it pretty much straight away. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, 
Yeah, if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to jump on our Facebook and give us a give us a yell. It's uh, www.facebook.com slash design web identity or just head to our website, designwebidentity.com. Okay, thanks. See ya.